This video sponsored by Squarespace. This is our next crazy project, the goal of which is to make a TV from the hood. Make it that way so the hood looks totally normal without even it looking like tuning. But after turning it on, it will play out in bright colors. Enjoy the video. Not so long ago, we made a transparent hood. In the video, I said that this has never been done before. After that, I was bombarded with messages. Basically, everyone referred to these. Yes, I knew about their existence, but still it's a slightly different thing. Those hoods are much easier to make. In fact, it's just a thin sheet of polycarbonate, which was given the top shape of the hood. But the hinges and the lock were fixed on by just drilling it through. In our version, we cast an exact copy with stiffeners, a built-in lock, and spaces for hinges. So, hoods with this approach definitely weren't made before us, these are different things. But why am I talking about this? Specifically, I decided to make today's project based on that simple polycarbonate technology and clearly show you the difference. First of all, we bought a sheet of 6mm polycarbonate. Yes, it is quite transparent, just covered with colored film for now. We put on the hood, understand what size we need, and cut off the excess. This strip will be used for an experiment. But the experiment will take place at the other part of the city. As a result, we arrived at a place where we have been buying TMT for a couple of years. And TMT is dried in a huge oven at a high temperature, which is ideal for our task. At least that's what we thought. After we have laid the hood on the rails, we unpack the polycarbonate, put it on the hood and hope that after heating the polycarbonate will become soft, pliable, and take the shape of the hood. Of course, I studied the information beforehand. And I found out that monolithic polycarbonate can be bent and shaped when heated to 180 to 240 degrees. But first it must be heated at 120 degrees. This is what we've set. We left the hood for a few hours and sat down to order all the components. The next day we eagerly take the hood out of the oven and have this result. Once again it became clear that everything looks simple only at first glance and on the internet. In fact, you need to study this topic more deeply, experiment a lot, use adjustable heating and a vacuum installation. But considering the size and thickness of polycarbonate, this is a huge scale. And then we decided to apply the technologies that we know. Specifically, glass wool and good old resin. We base it on the matrix that remained after the manufacture of the transparent hood. We cover it thoroughly with polyester and put on the first layer of glass wool. Usually, gel coat is used with this technology, but it is not particularly transparent and has a dense black, gray, or white color. In our case, using it is not an option, since the top layer of the hood should perfectly transmit light. In this regard, two layers of glass wool soaked in transparent resin are just an ideal option, since that material plays the role of a diffuser. That is, we solve two issues at once. In the end, we go over the surface with a roller with metal needles in order to remove all the bubbles and air pockets. Many know that in addition to creating unusual cars our workshop also creates smart tables. Finally, we decided to make it for sale. Of course, no business can be successful without a working and usable website. It's possible to make such a website in approximately 10 minutes on the platform Squarespace, the sponsor of this video. For this you need to choose template and customize it for yourself. In a few clicks you can personalize your site. And what I like about Squarespace the ability to see how the site will look on different platforms. It's easy to make changes and you don't need to be a programmer to set something on your website. Number of ready-made templates over 100. All of them are free and available in a choice. Also, all these templates have adaptive layout. All are made qualitatively and correctly displayed in all types of different devices. There's no problems with editing the site. Everything is clear even for novice users. Editing content may be performed by man not familiar with the layout of web pages and programming. The Squarespace base has many controls, animation, fonts. All this can be customized for yourself to create individual style that no one has. You can save 10% using code AccessGarage when ordering. The next day, the resin dried up, and we have this translucent shell, which must be put on a rigid base. First we take the second component of the matrix, apply wax, and rub it thoroughly. This is done to get the part out of the mold without any problems.
The next step is to make gel coat. The one that we abandoned when making the upper part of the hood. Everything is simple here. We need the upper part to be transparent, but there are no such requirements for the lower base. That is, to use more layers of glass wool, since the upper part is made as thin as possible for good light transmittance. But we make up for this with an additional layer on the lower part, which is what you see on the screen. A few days later, when everything is thoroughly dried, we grind the rough glass. Why grind the inner surface at all, which will be covered by the front part of the hood? Good question. The thing is that it is on this surface that we will glue 44 meters of LED strip, and all these needles and irregularities make it very difficult to do this. The next step is to cut off all the excess first on the bottom of the future hood, and then on the front transparent shell. Finally, we get to the most interesting part, the introduction of electronic stuffing into the hood. First of all, tape the entire area with metalized tape. It sticks to almost any surface and holds perfectly. We will glue the tape directly on it. Also, the tape plays the role of a reflector. In our case, it will clearly benefit us. The next step is to use double-sided tape with a certain step to eventually get a matrix that meets our requirements for the given distance between the diodes. Here, we were saved by a simple wooden rack, which corresponds to the gap between the strips. And so step by step, strip by strip. Well, in the final, a few hours to put up the address tape. As you remember, the upper part of the hood is transparent and made of glass wool, and this material cannot boast of an ideal surface. As a rule, small cavities, craters and other flaws remain on the front side. It is for this purpose that the gel coat, which we abandoned dead, is applied to the base. We also cannot prime the front part for obvious reasons. But we can even replace the acrylic opaque primer with an acrylic transparent varnish. Actually, that's what we did. After the varnish dried, we matted it in order to apply the next layer. This is the base paint. Exactly the same color as the whole car. Here we used a thin layer. It has given color, but still lets light through as much as possible. 
Light from 44 meters of tape. While this layer is drying, we are testing our matrix. All this is controlled from the phone thanks to a board with a Wi-Fi module. And all we have to do is put together a sandwich and test how it works. As a result, we put the TV hood on the car, waited for best effect until it got a little dark and drove into the city. To tell the truth, I am very pleased with the result, because I originally came up with this project in my head and imagined exactly like that. More specifically, ideally, the hood should have looked completely ordinary, without a hint of tuning, and after pressing one button, you get this wow effect. That's exactly what happened. The only thing we can work on is to blur the clear border a little, where the light comes from. Shall we continue working on this? Because, any way you put it, it's still a prototype. I am very interested to hear your opinion in the comments. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.